there's a, a perfect golf link there, obviously, with Dave Allred and what's happening this weekend, that he was coaching Luke Donald at one stage and Donald gave him an enormous amount of credit for getting him to be the world number one. But then when that relationship seemed to... Uh, sour isn't the word, but when they parted ways, shall we say, a year or two later... I think Donald referred at the time that there was a sense of he was overanalyzing his game. He was he was thinking too much about everything. How do you get that balance then as a kicker of, I need to make changes, but you can keep changing all the time. Like you can constantly be searching for the extra 1% where actually at some stage you just need to say, I got it. Yeah, yeah. And I, and I think, yeah, I, I, I think that's it. That's the battle I know like for... Like from working with Dave, he's been over he's been over and back. He does some work with Johnny Sexton as well. But if you're constantly critiquing it, like I don't think you find satisfaction in it. And there's gotta be like a feel good element to like I think the like when you're doing it, you gotta you gotta love what you love what you're doing. You know, it's like almost like a hobby and then you're doing it for a job too. But um yeah, you're obviously always trying to trying to improve it but then if you're always trying to improve it, where's the satisfaction where's the the feel good element to it and that's probably something working with dave is that in changing sort of my the mechanics of how i would how i would kick he's been phenomenal but then there's times when i'm just looking it might feel it might feel really good to me it might feel really good off the boot and he might have an opinion on it and then that will get in your head too so um yeah you probably yeah you probably i think that's the case with everything when you're in this like hunt or this quest to just like be an unbelievable kicker or just you know there's no you want confidence over the ball every time every time you're hitting it that you're, you're chasing perfection really and it doesn't really exist it's just it's almost like as you said at the very beginning just put it down line it up and that's where you want it to go and yeah it's it, sometimes sometimes it is as easy as that when you're striking it well and then other times it, it, it doesn't go your way and i think it's just the acceptance of that it's like I could hit a good ball here and it's not going to go over like on the angle of out wide. I could hit a good ball. It's not going to go over, but I'm not going to go away from, from what I believe in or how, how I'm going to strike this ball. So, um, yeah, I, I kind of look into a lot of the psychological side of it too. Um, and yeah. And then just the, the feel side and that, and, and that's what it, I think where everything is going. It's just that the feel side of it is feeling good over the ball seen it before it happens believe it's going over and then and then getting behind that